got your aim right. Cause we came in, it's game time. MTC, go. Get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goat. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goat. I'm talking back then. We used to rock out on the cell phone. Facebook Live got you and stuck just like it's Velcro. What up, guys? Stream number two on the evening. What's happening? Shadi and Brian Gannon here to bring you the second uh, second of two streams this, tonight. So hopefully you guys got to check out uh, check out the action earlier and uh, see how that went. It seemed like it went pretty good. I just got back in the back in the building here, rushed right in and get set up. So was that the September winners? That was that was uh, September. We had uh, both the September winners got it. Uh, Got in this weekend as we had a Saturday and a Sunday, and and uh, these guys needed a little time to uh, reschedule. Friday didn't end up working out on Wednesday, so here we are bringing you some late night action. Some good uh, late night darts here on a Sunday night. Not not, not gonna lie, he's uh, he's telling the truth. So expect a banger tonight. What's up out there? I see Kathy Keller and Stacy checking in. The the auto parents, how we doing? And Cat Middleton, so appreciate y'all. Quite a quite a few viewers getting in early. You probably uh probably heard during the earlier stream that this was going off at nine o'clock. So these guys did both just play the Toys for Tots tournament yesterday. So we'll see how they come out. If they come out a little soft, or if they're ready to go. I can only imagine he brings up the Toys for Tots so we can mention last night's champion. Who won that? <laughs> As uh, congrats to Brian and uh, Jerry Frazier on taking that down last night. So yeah, that was a nice little win. Good job over there. That's got to be almost the 10th annual or so by now with uh, at my place. I, I don't know if they have a number on it, but I feel like Harold's been doing that for got to be close to 10 years by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was a nice tournament for uh, – Brian uh, Henry's birthday too out at the waterfront. There Eagles, was, uh, there was. I did see he uh, Brian Henry turning a big five zero. Yeah, happy birthday, Brian! Happy birthday if you're listening, brother. So Brent's off to an early lead here. He's got twenties with a slight forty one point lead, and he throws up a, a little closes, fast. Close the nineteens. Yeah. A little fast by his normal yeah, pace. They did look a little quick for him. Good to see these guys back, both of them. I feel like haven't been in the club in in, in a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. Just uh, with travel and 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 mostly just a lot of Grudge Series matches for the most part. I'm trying yeah. to get it narrowed down to these final four here. Yep, this this will do it too. This is uh, the three players are in the final four, and uh, one of these two will be moving on to play uh, Paul Otto. We believe next Friday night, if it's going to work out for everybody, that's the day we're shooting for. And then in the other half, we've got State Farm and uh, JT, and Jason Topsky, yeah, Topsky. going, going uh, heads up on the next day on Saturday. It was a nice shot by Kev there with the big seven piece. But 
the matches have really kind of turned the corner. These last couple Grudge Series matches, we've seen some pretty big averages and, and some uh, some stellar play. And I think even some upsets. I mean, it's hard to call anything an upset with the caliber of players that everybody is. But some of the way the matches have turned out is, I would say, a little bit surprising. At least for me, I felt like uh, some of these guys are really hard to beat around here. But it's nice marked by Kev there. Open game. Katie, I'm probably on the drive home now. What up, Katie? She's checking in on the action. Got the ran the first stream uh, pretty flawlessly. Her and Day Day rocked it out, and got to talk to the talk to these guys before she headed home, and see if we could uh, maybe a three setter here. It could it has potential for a good three setter. I yeah, mean, this one could uh, be a lot of a lot of legs played tonight. Uh, I wouldn't. I expect each uh, set to be run deep, like nine seven, nine six, maybe even go all the way to nine eight. So, two totally familiar with each uh, opponent too. I, I would yeah. say these guys have, have played each other a ton. Absolutely. Kev wanted this matchup, I believe. I think he uh, didn't he call it. Did yeah, I, I think he. Something? I think he even uh, even Brent was kind of feeling like it'd be a good test for him. So I, I think right. the guys at, at this point kind of, you know, kind of kind of maybe pick a little bit who they want because for a minute we we thought it was going to be call out. So the guys were already thinking oh. it was the survivor type of mode, but right. I, I realized that was just going to be way too hard to schedule. With uh, it, it's hard enough to schedule with it, even if you make it with guys who kind of play on the same day, right? That's been my only knock, I would say, with the with the Grudge series. It's just the scheduling's a little tough, and I mean, mo you know, everybody's pretty much either got kids, job, family, all of the above. It's now hunting season. A lot of these guys getting ready to go out. Yeah, you know, getting ready to go out. freeze their butts off or something. You could buy at Kroger, but that's <laughs> another story. <laughs> Hold the angry comments. I'm just kidding, hunters. You know what I mean? You can't get better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's coming. I know. It's coming. Nice shot by Kev. Yeah, it's good. Good opening. Like, seems like they're just kind of maybe feeling each other out a bit here. Yeah, they're just getting warmed up. Like I thought, it might come out a little bit slow, but I'm pretty sure they'll get it amped up and really start cranking it out in a minute. I'm still playing good. Let, yeah, let's uh, strong here. Yeah, hit there. There's nice. there's nice a big nine piece. mark. Let's get some predictions out there too. What do you guys think for tonight? If uh, and, and uh, let's let's take a guess for uh, guess your winner for the match and uh, take a guess at their what their cricket average will be for this set and uh, we'll get uh, some free entries into the giveaway for you. So, for example, uh, last match was Paul Otto at four point seven eight was the winner, and I think. Uh, Actually, Dennis Bennett almost guessed it exactly. He guessed four point seven six. Wow, I nice. was pretty impressed. Nice. The only guy who put three digits too. Four point <laughs> seven was acceptable. <laughs> I actually even gave uh, gave a couple because Andy had four point seven. A Andy Miley's and and then uh, Dennis Bennett had four point seven six, and I was like, that's pretty impressive. Oh, good point from. Uh, Good point from the boss there. Wrong one. Got you there, Josh. Jaime asked who won the first set. Um, this is the first. This is uh, yeah, a first, first set of this one. Kevin is up one nothing. This is it. Just start. It's a late start tonight. Late night. Old school midnight dart. Mike says hello from Mansfield, Ohio. How we doing out there, Mike? Steph says hey hey. What's up, Steph? What's up, Steph? Out cruising in the hot rod or something. <laughs> I, I seen they uh they had the cars out today. I'm the. Uh, I'll have to catch up with you. The ring finally they came in yesterday, so we'll get that to you one day this week. I'll probably holler at you. Good stroke from Kev there as he throws a nice seven mark. Answers his Brent's seven mark with a seven. These guys are starting to 
get a little warmed up. I was literally just about to say it looks like they're kind of settled in now after a game and a half here, a game and a quarter. What's up, Jerry? Nice what up, Jerry Frazier? Congrats on that W last night. Kev having no trouble with those 18s no, tonight. That that 18, right he is right right hammering now. that 18. Tom Keller, thanks for the share out there. So, Brandon says Kevin with 4.54. Carrie says Kev with a 4.8. So, we. Stacy also says Kev at a 4.8. 4.65 for Cat with Kev. So, look at him back in that 18, too. Ooh. So, it's a good number to be hot on. It feels like it could save you so many ways, you know, like, not not that it uh, hurts to be on the 20 or 19, but I, I always felt like I play really well when the 18's just going in. Yeah, it seemed like you always had the 18s just going in. It was, it got disgusting at times. They are, uh, you could just go so many places from that 18, that low pop it in there. Look, he, I mean, he's, he just I don't know it. how many in a row he's hit. It feels like a bunch. Oh, what a third dart he picked. And Kev really, mark. really up in the ante here in game two after uh, kind of an opening round, just kind of a average game, maybe around a 4 0. But, uh, he's trying to get both of these, uh, on a break. Yeah. And, and Brent's not throwing in the towel. Oh, yeah. Means. Brent throwing the 4-8 plus here. Got the point lead now. Oh, he's going to need one of these. Oh, that's a bad timing there. Brent's going to look to close that 18 down now. Sandusky Steve says two great darters going out. Going to be a great one. Nope. Uh, that's that's kind of what I was feeling too. I was like, man, looking forward to this matchup. And oh, he went straight for points. I am kind of surprised by that. He Tom does, Keller does says get the third one though. Kev at four point four for Tom Keller. Michael Boone says Brand at four five three. Look at that! It said eighteen again. Oh, Lena back again tonight. How we doing out there, Lena? Thanks for the like. Leaving the door open for Brent to close it. Let's see if he goes right back at points like he did last round. Or it looks like he's going to. Nope, now he is going 18. All right. He's probably tired of that. I bet. Right? That's why you I know? thought he was going to do it last uh, round. Yeah. <laughs> nice five, Mark. I would be. I mean, I don't know. Kev's already hit 15 triple oh, yeah. 18s. It's only game two. So really good at their uh, equal average here at 4.63 apiece in the uh, ninth round. Brent really fought hard to, to take the lead back here because I, I actually it looked like a break for sure about three or four rounds ago. I thought Kev was uh, going to get away with a, a break, and now it looks like uh, Brent's going to get the hold. Yeah, D's in command for sure right now. I definitely expect him to hold on to it from this point. I think I saw Mandy out there with the like. How are we doing out there, Mandy? Okay, now it's all triples from Brent here, so it's a good, uh, good, uh, good battle here. Rocky, how are we doing out there? Rocky says hi, everyone. Lena recognizes her boy from Chicago. She says, uh-oh, shoulders is throwing. Refer to Brent. funny he always looks so serious when he's throwing to he's such a chill like, he, <laughs> right. from, from up here he's like is he mad <laughs> <laughs> no nope, never mad at least i haven't seen him mad Good hat trick but that ain't is probably not gonna be enough as brent's just gonna close this out here probably the first dart we agree mandy we, we miss kev too but he got to the 2-0 barrier real quick she said hey y'all about time kev's back there on the line Brent evens it up. He may have actually been the first player to 2 0 him or Farm. I think Farm might have been the first one to 2 0. 
I think he was. I think I feel like Kevin must have been right behind him, though. So, Will, thanks for the like out there. Kev going to go first for the first time. How we doing? Painful feeling. Everybody knows that one. We've all 220s to start a game. Always kind of irks you a bit. No, you're going to get punished. Especially when, you're, when your yep. opponent starts that first start, triple 20. Yeah, you just always know you're going to get punished when you, when you don't hit the two-piece. If you're Kev, you know you can fall back on the fact you're going to hit 11 triple 18s in a row <laughs> once you get to you that might, number. I just start now. <laughs> Does find a triple in the third, darn not little bit of a high blocker there. Let's see if that affects his uh, shot here. It does. I think that's yeah. why he switched on the second dart. Yeah. I think he was looking to really get some points, but he said, no, I'm going to switch. Especially with Kev only needing that one up top. This is a perfect opportunity I'm for him. I'm just going to close it now. Yep. yep. Nice. Good job by Kev. Probably going to lose a shot to get at his 18s, though, but he seems to be hitting the 19 just fine. I'm sure he'll be okay with that. Well, he's going to need to find a triple here. And Kev is going to be looking to beat those 18s. Yeah, though. I was going to say that's got to be lethal the way uh, the way Kev's hit these 18s so far these first couple of games. He, he's, he's only going to get I mean, only find get it. I don't know he squeezed yeah. it in there, but it was a nice shot. Yeah, he'll definitely take that bonus 36 for sure. Uh -oh. Thanks for the like, Dalton, out this, there. This game's starting to look like it's going to end up in Cavs' favor. There's Brent up just two pieces one more time. Another five mark, third dart trip. Just comfortable cruising. That that looks like kind of one of them cruising shots. He's just yeah. realizing he's in pretty good shape. Richard, thanks for the like. That's pretty much gonna wrap this game up. Yep. He might even uh might even get the little eight mark here. I see hot Rodney Raymer out there. How we doing, Rod? Chris Alexander, thanks for the like. So maybe a few fifteens here, but this this pretty much one. Just about in the books for Kev, I would say, to move and to a 2-1. That's a tough blocker there for him, too, when he needs all the 15s he can get. Yeah, definitely a worst-case scenario for back that one. Back-to-back bricks. You're not going to see that very often out of him. That's for sure. I don't know how they bounce up. I don't know how that bounced all the way off and come down and hit the the flight on that 15. Did you see how it did that? <laughs> I was wondering uh, how that that uh, that must be uh, Josh, obviously. Yeah, it's got to be. Chris, thanks for the like out there. So let's see if Kev go ahead and close this out and take a two game to one lead. Feels like he's gonna. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna wait one more round. Yeah, I would say uh, he's in a pretty safe position as Brent quite a ways back in this leg. Brent's going to need to figure this out real quick. Yeah, I, 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 you got to assume maybe he just throwing feels really good to just kind of hit a wall here this one game. You hope it's just a hiccup. Happens sometimes and he come back throwing smoke the next game. So For sure. We'll see if he can uh, get that going. You Shoot. would hope, if you're him, that you could kind of yeah. just put that behind you. Yeah, yeah it's it's a be bad like game a... when he started. It was just a hold in the end of the day. It was, you know, Kev yeah. went first. He's kind of supposed to win. Like a DB in football. You get scored a touchdown on. Somebody scores a touchdown on. You got to forget about it move on. Whole season to go. Yep. So there he goes. He's back to normal. He beat Good shot. Yep. And just like that, seven mark to start the 20s. And that last game, actually, that was after – 
Kev had a suspect open with the two mark, and then Brent hit what six or seven. That was the only number he ended up having closed was that twenty. Yeah, so. he five marked the twenties, yeah. and it's funny how that works. The board wanted to tip there. Did you see that? It was way off mark uh, earlier today when we were setting up. Like you couldn't even see the left side light on the. Oh, wow. It was all the way over here. So it happens. You, it, too many crazy events. You know, you get luck of the draws and all this. And people get a little wild. <laughs> Just a one mark there for Kev. Look, shut these 19s down. It's definitely the right shot. You hate to use all three, you know, if you don't sure. have to, but I mean, you definitely, you'll take it. I mean, yeah. Want to make him close another number before he can start getting any points, so. There he is on his 18. Yeah, a couple more triples. So, good shot by Kev. His uh, his accuracy on that target's been re spot on so far tonight. Brent unimpressed says, "Let me go ahead and pop a trip 20 to and a nice seven mark right back at him. Take a stab, and I'll go back and hit another trip 20." So. He is hammering man. that thing, man. Clip it. What a shot. There is no doubt that's been the hot number so far it, it, it through, uh, through four games here. Now he's in a good spot to be able to take a crack at them 20s. Get the point lead first here. Time for one more 18. He may stay on it because he didn't get a triple. Yeah, nice shot. Take five. Yep, you take five all day for sure. And almost, uh, you feel like when you're throwing that good at a number, you know you're at least getting five. You know, like oh, the for way, sure. Even Especially the way he's hitting those 18s. Yeah. He hit single, single. He stayed pretty much knowing, like, ah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll only get five. But he's several multi uh, triple rounds on. On that target. Yep, nice shot. I thought he might take a look there. That was a good switch. Yeah. I think uh, your Brent here, you, you don't hate it. You just, you just gotta definitely, uh, you gotta come correct. You don't, you don't love it though. Yeah, he took he, your honey hole away. <laughs> yeah, he was, and he was definitely first dart in there. I mean, it was so comfortable. And yeah. your, your first dart, sixty points every time you toe the line. Now Kev's in charge of the highest number and left. Shut down these 17s. Good close. That's all you're really looking to do. Yeah, bare, bare minimum. Get it closed. Played smart, too. I feel like Kev put himself in a position to kind of take the game at this point, how he has. Stayed on that 18 just long enough and got away with closing the 20 with one dart. He's looking for some points now. There he goes. 16, maybe. Yep. Surprised the choice to point the 17 the way he's hit the 18. Maybe he just wanted to stay on the lower board. Mm, could be. Maybe he was planning on bouncing over to that 15 as well. Sometimes people like to bounce that 17, 15. Five mark, keep a minute for now. Oh, good switch. Nice pick. Huge third dart. Yeah, that was big. 27-point lead. That's the same way he did the 20, wasn't it? He closed yep. the 20 on a third dart, just yep. a pop like that. With a small 30-something-point lead at the time. Yeah, you're right. It was about yeah, exactly what it was, I think. Good answer. Yeah, where to find that seven, Mark. Keep yourself in it for now. Let's see if Kevin... Pulls that one more time with the... Oh, he's back to the 18s. Oh, nine mark. 
Yep. Yeah, what a Great shot. Great shot. So he's a uh, couple of clippets here in this game and uh, right on time with that one. Yeah, we definitely need to get a nine mark counter in playing cricket. Yeah, it seems like that. they do it more. We get we start the ton eighty counter. No one hits ton eighties anymore. <laughs> right, we they're always in yeah. nine marks. It seems <laughs> like the nines definitely, especially uh, when we went back and counted with Paulie and uh, Gary. Woo, you almost hit another one on the eighteen. It was uh, twenty two with those guys. Was it really twelve for nice. Paulie and ten for Gary? Yeah. Nice. That was eighteen games though, because they did have a uh, two games of cricket in the tiebreaker set. All right, so. That's still a lot of nightmares. It is. And, and at one point, Pauly, three in a row. I yeah. was really impressed the way Pauly yeah, played that was, night. He, man. Was he was fire all night long, for sure. Not just how good he was shooting, but how smart he was playing. He kept Gary on the ropes and, and you know, made him make left really hard shots for him all the time. You know how hard Gary is to beat around here. He's, oh, for sure. I mean, Gary's a veteran here at the club, man. He's uh definitely could – Say the OG or one of definitely one of the top dog OGs around here, and uh, Paulie just kept him against the ropes the whole time. And Kev gets it, jumps up to a 3 1 lead here early on. And nice 4 9. Is that all three of Kev's Almost games five. from the two hole? All three of his wins? All three of his wins. Um, it's at least two of them. No, two of them. He, he won uh, the first, it was one to one. But he went first, and uh, he, he got that one. <laughs> he looked to shut that 18 down right now. He did, too. <laughs> I see you I working, know. Brent. I see you working. We don't blame you from up here. Not at all. <laughs> He's like those ready. damn 18s. Have that check for regulation. I, I, he'll probably look at him with these first two darts. If he does, it's two singles. He's looking to go right at him. He is. Nope, he's 119. Okay. Not bad. Oh, because well, I was going to say the single, yeah, single would have played exactly. so nice. Oh, and he missed them both. Now Kev's going to get his opportunity at, the, at his number. So I threw all that. It works out. We're <laughs> still getting it anyways. It's funny how that works. All right. There he goes. And he's still finding that triple. Oh. They found two of them. Just what Brent didn't want to see. What was the first start trip 20 here? He can close them if he wants. No, he didn't get it. Oh. It's been a while that since, uh, probably since Brent's played a match this long, too, I, I would say. Like, this one thing he'll want to watch is getting discouraged over, you know, a couple, couple oh, of games. Nice pick. Another good switch. Feel like a, li a little bit he. Maybe looked a little disappointed, but sometimes uh, sometimes your opponent's just going to be hot. And you just got to kind of weather the storm and uh, hope you can hope you can get up off that hot, off that horse sooner than later. Ooh, he is man, just firing, man! Those eighteens are just his number tonight. Paulie says, get in some work tonight, and he ain't lying. Yeah, Brent's in trouble he, here. He seems a bit discouraged, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, those 18s have him rattled for yeah. sure. When he took that stab at him, I mean, I don't blame him, but I think that was a sign of uh, that was getting in his head a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's you know game I mean? five only. To, right, you know, it's early like on. Yeah, how yeah, good he's hitting him, you know. Sure. And obviously, Kev knows he's hitting him good because he just throws at him when he needs three, and he gets right. it every time, you know, so it's like. Pretty sure they're both aware how good he's hitting them. Yeah, he's got an 87% uh, triple percentage on the 18s right now. Michael Boone noticed for sure. He said we might need to change that segment on a trip 18 after this match. So, Kev just uh, dialed in right now. Yeah, he's Going really good. playing good. Cavs cricket though, when he starts rolling, this is how he does. He's yeah. definitely, especially yes. if his pace, if the pace is just right, he's his pace. And uh, he can get pretty lethal. Josh Sloan says, Brent, 
He may be sticking up over him a bit. Says uh, Brent usually goes the 18 if he hits that 21st. So maybe just coincidence there. I still believe it may have been <laughs> it may have been slightly inspired or by that. Definitely, it felt, the felt inspired by the it for barrage sure. of triples he had seen. Definitely couldn't blame him either way. Let's see. Uh, is Kev looking to approach about the halfway point in the first set? Well, should be first dart here. Probably averaging close to what four six, I'd say, or so from what we've seen. Yeah, at least. Right first there. game was a first game was a little lower, but hey, then a couple of a couple of fives and stuff. So I'd say he's somewhere between four four and four six. Brent a little behind that, but not much. Well, he had that one tough leg where he was a little two, off two there. Something, yeah. Two something, yeah. So that's gonna bring him down a little bit. But other than that, most games have been uh, pretty good. <laughs> Josh says I'd start at eighteen at this point though. <laughs> so he has been watching. He has been. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we see people hot on a number, but for those first couple games there, that was that was pretty nasty. Cause he's hit a lot of triples around the on the other numbers as well. Yeah, he's shooting good right now. He's kind of locked in. Brent could be in trouble here if he doesn't get it going. And he's not. He's he's actually got it going right now. He's shooting good. He's just uh, kept shooting a little better. This is literally right where you want to be if you're Kev feeling good, halfway through the set with a 4-1 lead. Yeah, went in three times out of the two-hole. Because Brent gets hot, he can rally four or five, six games in a row as well. You know, he's yeah, done it. Oh, for sure. In, in the last uh, the last singles event here when we played the whole 0-1 event. Good five mark there. That might hurt. Yep, and that looked just probably a little tight. You know, that's that's uh. Oh, Kev goes straight to points. Oh, he is just locked. Eighteen. Oh, yeah, he's just man. he's just nasty at this point. He is feeling it tonight. At this point, it's tough seeing how Brent's gonna come back and cricket. it. I mean, I know we got a lot of time left, but uh, it's just the way it's. The momentum's going there. Well, right there, yeah. That's a good start. Good, good nice good start answer. to it. So that's perfect time to do it too. The way he's gonna feed him into the okay. thing. So I meant to tell you that earlier. Oh, Brent five straight. So, ooh, seven Did he hit a double? Oh, they got a double out of it. <laughs> I don't think he was, it, was that a board malfunction? Or I think did it, it was really a deflection. There? Yeah, I think it deflected into it. And if you're Brent, that's just ooh, what you need. Look too. at these like, guys. Something just to kind of laugh about and, and, and just shake it off. You know, and like I, the double, I think it was like a tension breaker. Had to be done. He's... Or maybe I'm wrong. Well, I mean, Kev just threw a nine mark right back at him, so. Uh, yeah, maybe it worked vice versa. <laughs> Relax, Kev. <laughs> Kev don't need to be more relaxed. He's uh, locked in. Kev's shooting straight smoke right now. Ooh, man. Bringing the heat. It's, it's borderline unfriendly what he's yeah, doing he's right now. he's almost unplayable <laughs> right now. He's throwing so he's smart smoke. Yeah, Rocky, I know. I'm, 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 I'm working on it. Trying to get that nine over <laughs> here. We definitely uh, it, it's the number one, the number one <laughs> Request suggestion in the yeah, box for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, they do it on the for the CSC and you know, like Kenny Doyle and uh, those guys. And, oh, yeah, and, and it's fun because people are watching the cricket and it gives you something like we sure, do it in a one, so right. it's like you you should. And it's amazing some of the numbers you see when the, those big matches play. It's like, oh did they goodness. really show throw 38 nine marks or whatever I their think, record is? I think is? the record is like 35 or something. Yeah, yeah I was, it's, 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 it's close yeah. to 40. I know that. Yeah, they just it's, talked about it the other the last match where Gates lost to uh In a race to nine, yeah. too. It's like ridiculous. You happen to catch that, that match? 
I, I saw a little. I know who won, but I didn't get to yeah, see the whole Rick, thing. Yeah, Rick shoots. He, well, he's a, obviously he shoots great. I mean, uh, it was a great match, but he, he's fire. What uh? When's is it? What is tomorrow the the final then? Yeah, it's coming it? up. I don't know the exact date. I haven't seen a thing on that, but it's probably going to be uh, this week. I think. Monday Josh Wednesday, says he'll maybe. he'll get one whipped up by the top four, and Rocky verifies that he believes it's thirty four for the record. So. That sounds about right to me. Yeah, it was either 34 or 35. I knew it was one of those two numbers. Uh, it, yeah, it's a whole bunch. So let's see if, if Brent can settle in here because it, if... Uh... Yeah, he's in a tough spot now. He needs to start putting some together. I don't know how you slow Kev down. He just need to help him... Just cools on his down on his own, I guess. And that's about as cool as it got lately for him was just a four mark, so but Brent can capitalize somehow on that move. Yeah, and it really, Brent hasn't done a ton wrong. I mean, it, he hasn't been on fire, but he's been solid, you know, it's just right. Gav's hit a whole bunch of triples. So look at the nineteen. One thing Brent has hit good is that trip twenty though. I, I feel like He's missed. He's not hitting any of his switches. He's hitting great trip twenties, but yeah. when he switches to a number to try to close Kev's, he's only getting singles, and then Kev usually ends up punishing him and catching back up. And so he hasn't been hitting his switches. Well, there's an opportunity for him to close down these nineteens. Yeah, I agree with that. With the coming off a number, he's he's been uh, like the seventeen. Even to that, it was trip, 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 trip. So maybe getting around the board a little, a little better. And he has time to comment, I see, as he chimes in there. And <laughs> I see Left Eye out there having fun in the comments as well. How we doing out there, Daryl? Rocky says that he believes the final is Wednesday night. Kev on his 18s. Only picks up four. There's a trip 18 from so it's a good opportunity for Brent here to get get on a board get get a second W. Kev just a touch off this leg right here. First word we've heard on him too, but I think that's the first time we heard him talk since he's been down there. Uh, I heard him yell at himself one other time after a couple of misses, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, about the only time you're going to hear anything is when he mad at himself because he uh, missed something. It was loose too. We went down bo right beforehand just for a few minutes. Uh, everybody was kind of kicking it, laughing. They yeah, it seemed like uh, good atmosphere. These guys are ready to go. Nobody was tight. There's our guy, Denny Garn, out there. It says, hello, Midnight Dark Club. How we doing, Denny? What's up, Mr. Garn? So it looks like, looks like Mr. Brent. I don't want to jinx him here. I may have. <laughs> well, he finds a triple there. Oh, he does find a triple. So it looks like he's going to find a way to, to get it to 5-2 here, which... Uh, Whole lot better than six one. Unless you're talking about height and you're trying to be in the NBA. <laughs> He's already over six one, so <laughs> And I don't even think six one's getting you in the league these days. <laughs> no. You'd be a either. small guard. Iverson or something. Earl the Squirrel. Boy can remember him. Yeah. Five, five eight, I think he was. So. Yeah, there ain't too many six ones in the league these days. <laughs> How big is Steph? Steph don't even he seems he's right around. He's, Steph, but I think he's six two or something, six three even maybe. And he does seem small. Maybe he's six one. They list at six three. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he see he definitely seems small. He plays big for sure. So Kev's going to make him work here at the end of the game to, to hold on yeah. to do this. That's exactly what you want to do, too. If a guy's kind of struggling to take wins off you, make him work hard even in the games you know he's uh -oh. probably going to win. Oh, uh, He had to have that triple. That was a big dart there. 
found two of them. Yeah. And I think it was smart of him to stay. For yeah, some, for sure. Yeah. You know, no, no point trying to push it. You missed that bull there. Now, you now if Kev the door. don't throw four bulls, then you got right. a, a two-bagger to get out the door. He does get the four, though, and retakes the point lead. So Muggsy Bogues, Sloan brings up. Yeah, Muggsy, 5-4, yeah. I think. Spud Webb. Yeah, 5-6. And then he says Steph is 6-2, so even Steph's six over 6-1. So good, good job, Brentley, yeah. as he gets back on the board. 5-2. to two. And now we'll see Kev starting off, which is about the only slack round we've seen him throw was those two single 20s on that, that one game uh, that he ended up winning ultimately anyways. Yeah, it's just just second uh, second time going first tonight. Gets a five piece. Yep, nothing slack about that. I'm sure he'll take that. Feel like that start could be contagious. You know, you miss it once or twice, you start thinking about it like, oh, at least I feel like I always did. Like, don't, don't screw this up. <laughs> right. Life's much easier when your first starts going in the trip twenty to start cricket. <laughs> You're like, oh, now I just need a single and I got some points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's just relaxing. It's almost like hitting trip shot, you know. Especially if it's in, like, the tiebreaker leg or something. You, like, really don't want to screw it up. Brent looking a little more relaxed, but I still wouldn't go as far to say totally comfortable. I think uh, okay. still, still a little settling in to do is... Two numbers in a 62-point lead. Kev grabs yeah. control here. It's kind of hard when the guy against you feels like he's being a dick. He's shooting so good, you know? <laughs> like, Kev is definitely hammering the rock right now. Good third dart find there. Kev will probably look to close on 17s. First dart trip. Point. Yep, nice shot. Daryl's calling. He says he says Steph Curry's only five eight. I, I gotta say that's <laughs> I wonder who was reading the tape measure on that one. <laughs> this first dart triples. And the second dart triple. So this is a burner of a set so far. It's only forty minutes in here. Yeah, they're going at a pretty good pace. Nice hat trick. <laughs> Kev looking to put the finishing touches on his leg. Yeah, oh. you would expect that this game ends in this round. But he's going to let Brent throw three more darts before he finishes it up. The old wrong pipe, I think, down there. <laughs> so look, uh, look to see if Kev closes this out here as he does and uh, takes a six to two lead. Commanding lead right now. Yeah. Yeah, it started off uh, pretty even. Might have even been 2-2 two -two at one point, was it? No, no, no. no, no, it was, no. He just grabbed that second win just a little bit ago. It was. Uh, so it was 1-1 one, one was the last time it was tied? Yeah. It was tied at 1. Yeah. Uh oh. That was not what Brent wanted to do to open up this leg. Brent's had some real tough wins, too, to get to this point. I mean, they both obviously... There was nobody that, did, that didn't play well in the series, but you know Brent. Uh, Brent defeated Topsky and uh, and PJ Kirk. Yeah. In his two matches, and uh, Kev's two victories were uh, Tim Sheehan and Benny Smith. He probably had to go against the, the, some of the tallest two of the. <laughs> yeah, I would say he definitely. He definitely got the. Oh, he finds another trip 18 and is in 
control of this one, looking to go up seven to two, and Brent is in deep trouble right now. He's at a relentless pace right now, and the scariest part is. Kev's all one's pretty nasty too with his math and everything. So yeah, for sure. Brent's in big trouble. And the way he's throwing, I expect him to get in on his first three pretty could much be every seeing, round. Could so be seeing a few twelve darters in that nine in the out of his nine. Yeah, nobody I don't think either one of these guys looks at the twenty, so I don't expect anybody looking at the nine darter. Yeah, I don't think we'll I don't think we'll see a nine. I I feel like guys have just assumed that Hey, we're all going double sixteen for whatever reason. No, but almost no. Well, one that's goes. the majority. Of, yeah, I'm a double sixteen. Always have been guy. I, if only I'll switch if I get blocked, I'll go up the top. But uh, yeah, a lot of people love that double sixteen. I see some go on the opposite side. Some like the double fifteen route. You like the double nineteen? It's just so weird. <laughs> I, I like that. I'd, I'd be going twenty now at this point. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No. You could tell how many people go with 16. Look at the 16. <laughs> like, it, yeah, from the for sure. Out, yeah, oh, light yeah. scraping yeah. it. Or just horrible darts and people just pegging the 16. Yeah, I think it mostly <laughs> from the double, though. You know, people people picking it off. Yeah, well, that's what he had for sure. Yeah, throwing it, dropping it into the actual 16 instead of missing it by, you know, a couple inches there. It looks even a little better today, but I think it maybe because the, the lighting, like we moved it. Kind of adjusted the board a little bit today. It was a lot of stuff was out of whack. I feel like they they were probably moving the cameras around or something. Jokesters. You could probably get some white out and color that in and that's what, mess that's everybody up. Yeah. <laughs> Call in the specialist. We'll have Heim do it. <laughs> so it actually looks good. Yeah. <laughs> So making a rally here with this, what, 70-point lead? Yeah, grabs a 70-point lead here. Gets into it a little bit. And that's down to a 10-point, and he's no longer got the lead. And a great shot by just, Kev. Just close down pummels it. It, takes it turns it into a 10-point lead and 10-point uh, deficit from Brent's standpoint. And Andy closed the number, so. Yeah, I was wondering if he's going to take a stab, try to shut everything down, or go right at the Bulls. Said, good recovery. So he closes him down. Kev's not messing around. He is not. He's like, I'm out of this thing. Oh, when he gets, he it, is he not. Gets the nine mark. That. <laughs> that is just uh. Exclamation point on yeah, this leg. Just yeah, just in it. Just. <laughs> Letting him know he's coming to close this out. And he's seen the he's seen what's to be offered out here in the series and uh said don't be forgetting about me, fellas. Yep. Freight train coming Good. through. Freight train closing it out in style there with the with the nine mark and then the hat trick. We almost need like a train whistle to go off every nine mark he hits. All he needs now is the Are We Having Fun Yet t shirt. Because <laughs> uh, he might be, I don't know how much fun this is for the opponent, though. Jeez. Seven to two. Brent, then big, big trouble at this point. Don't see him coming back. He's going to have to find it and regroup in, to get into 01. He's probably listening like, probably I know, is. guys. <laughs> well, don't listen because <laughs> it might not be good things being said right now. It's not that he's playing by it. He's just missing at bad times, and Kevin is throwing an absolute smoke. Yeah, it's not as much him missing right. as Kev yeah, not. You exactly. know what I mean? Kev's definitely. He's, he's, in a, he's in a groove right now. He's playing great darts. Kendra says, hey, guys, what's up, Kendra? Got some choo-choos out there. People recognizing the the smoke coming from the freight train. Yeah. Get a choo choo whistle every time he hits a nine mark. This thing is gonna be making lots of noise. So here we go. Leg number ten. And again, Brent with that first start, turn oh. twenty, and he's gonna pick he's going for the white horse. Oh, good look. Almost got the nineteen as well. Any little thing could trigger a switch too sometimes, you know. We can uh, kinda hopefully pick off a game or two. I don't think it'll save him the set by any means, but and it didn't slow Kevin down. It might encourage him in the next set. Cause if you don't slow Kev down, he could he could go this way through the through both sets and, and that would be uh 
Take all the fun out of it. True story. We did. That is true story, right? Again, and we did What's get that? a... Did finally get your club picture. The guy's only been around for uh, the whole time of the MDC. <laughs> we finally just got a Yeah, we got that taken care of tonight. Josh will get that updated at some point in time. The hat that he probably paid shipping for that he just picked up today after everyone, <laughs> everyone else has had their hats for a month. I'm almost on my second one. <laughs> Brent staying alive with the yeah. 17s here. I guess we could. I guess we could call that a slack round from Kev, a three mark there. Yeah, he hasn't had too many of those in the last few legs, that's for sure. Five piece here. Good start. Man, he's just snapping him. Yeah, he's he's zoned in right now. Must be the music. He's uh he's definitely digging the Tupac. I I don't know if that's the station, but it's definitely the song. Man, you got some pretty tricked out emojis up there. Looks like they're from different devices, doesn't it? You see that? Is that just here in the computer? Yeah, I'm not really sure. That might be a computer thing. Meatball to seven mark on a 16. Shooting 517, going first and kind of behind. Uh, and yeah, he's else, definitely behind now. What else can you do? Oh, so 72 down. He's going to need at least uh, five of them. So very unlikely that he gets he even gets a crack at the 19. He, if he does, it wouldn't nice be with shot. the lead. Yeah, so it, it takes all three, but he gets past him by 40. So it's going to take at least three 19s. Which probably is one dart, the way Kev's throwing, yeah. Double? No, nope, he's one fat or triple. Oh, he's... Oh, I thought he already had a mark on the 16s. He did not. Nope. So, two to pass. Gamble. Well, took a, took yeah. A, yeah, took a gamble there. Didn't have the most certainty behind the stroke, I would say. It looked like he was kind of maybe even didn't believe in it totally, but. Hell, he went for the double and got it. Nice shot. So Only 23. a 23 point game, though. 19. Trip 15. He's going no, straight 19. 19. Yeah, yeah close yep. that trip 15, too, though. Or otherwise, it don't really matter. Yeah, yep. so there you're good. Nice shot. Four bulls, worst case, if Kev don't hit the six mark to get out the door here. He's got to have it, and he does. Yeah. So he's going to have an opportunity here. Four mark for the win. We make it 7-3. Good start. See if he can find that double. He needs One double dart now. for it. Oh. You still got to like doing it the way he did. I, th I think it was the right shot. So Kev just needs three. Up for a double? No. Nope. Oh, Brent has an opportunity here now. Just needs the one. Kind of breathe easy if you even get a win. Like, it must feel like. Then he gets it. Nice shot by Brent to uh, make it 7-3. Kevin's gonna be kicking himself there a little bit. Don't you think he probably exhaled a little? Like, man. Right, yeah. God, that was a lot of that. work. Yeah, yeah I think I did. Yeah, one yeah. win to be down by four, and you worked your butt off for it. Yeah, it was a lot of work for sure. Kevin ain't making it easy for him tonight. As he opens it with the seven mark. We'll see how this 19 goes for, for Brentley here. 
Meatball. All right, if you're Brent, that ain't too bad, actually. Could have no, been worse. It. it definitely could have been worse. Good seven piece for an 11 point lead. So, just at this point, just definitely trying to build confidence and win some games within the set. Oh, he almost figured he was guaranteed to hit that 18 where he's gonna hit him all night. Yeah, he's uh, he's just moving around the board really well and feels like hitting everything he's throwing at. It must feel worse for Brent, honestly. Like if it feels like that to us as the opponent, you gotta imagine like, dude, this guy gonna miss? First start triple every round. Just about. Ninety nine point lead with a number. Brent was shooting a five two five and down by 65 points. That's yeah. uh, tough. I mean, I mean, just straight to the point. Trip 21st. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's locked and loaded. Not one single break of stride here. You know, even if he just catch a little three mark once in a while and be able to load seven in there, but he's not really giving you that opportunity. No, you basically have to hit nines on him <laughs> at least to a game right now to keep him. Keep them off you. So looking to probably get to the hill, I'd say, at 7-3 at, uh, here. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Brent because Kev's going to be the first one to 8, which means... Which means Once, Brent needs six on the trot. Yep, he'll have to win them all out of coming out of the two hole. Well, I guess five Once on the Once he gets to that, yeah. You get the diddle for the tie break, yeah. but. Which is tough the way Kev's playing tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> He's looking at points instead of close, even. He is making sure this game is uh, going to be eight to three when he's done. Yeah, he's definitely – he's just been keeping Brent out of range. Uh, like, uh, in most of these games, it's uh, three darts really can't even get him back in it. <laughs> First dart point, no matter what, every time. <laughs> he wants that certain point. He wanted that extra bowl there. Just to make sure. I like it. Yeah, that's the right shot. Yep. I, I thought he might go five bowl, but he's probably tired of that first star point. He's just like, <laughs> you know what? I'm getting rid of this damn thing. And then he goes double double yeah. on the bowl. I mean, that's just that's just great darts, man. He's just I mean, pounding yeah. the rock right now. Four nine six to a four eight eight, and uh, he had to lead the entire way. Brent was struggling to maintain. If I'm Kev, I don't even want to take a break between sets. I'll be like, right. Yeah, let's just keep that ten minutes right, off. Right. If I'm Brent, I can't get to break fast enough. Right. I mean, there's no way, Brent, don't take a break. You got to at least, if for nothing else, just hope the guy slows down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for sure. If I'm, yeah, if I'm Brent, I'm yeah. taking it as yeah. max time as I can. You know what I mean? That, hope he cools down yeah. for sure. Maybe see if you want to do some shots or something. Right. <laughs> like, man, get him to burn one. I don't, <laughs> something. Know, what you do. I don't know. <laughs> Three fat from Brent here can shut down the 20s with the point lead. Right, well, I meant 19s, but nice shot. 
That's that's uh definitely what what he needs. And then there's this guy on the 18. Incredible, man. Could be the round that does him in. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that one got away. Those oh. are such the rounds that hurt too. Like when you you don't capitalize on a guy who's actually on a heater, and then you finally, you know, that's that's the one thing that that makes it so hard is when they're playing so great. It makes your your shot your moments feel smaller and. That compression just yeah. just forces him to miss, kind of, I guess. Like I have to hit it now. He just had a bad uh -huh. off round. I need to hit a nine mark or seven mark. Because there's no really just relaxed play, it seems like, at this point, the, no. way, they're, the way they're at it. there's it's definitely He's definitely not trying to make you feel comfortable. Like, yeah, go ahead, hit your seven mark. <laughs> And even if Brent leaves the set feeling like he shot bad, he didn't. It just it, Kev's really, really played well here. He definitely had moments. He shots he'd like to change, I'm sure, but no, well, for sure. I wouldn't call. By no means did he play bad. No, not at all. Big seven mark there. Cruising right towards that finish line. Brent's going to need to bury a couple trips here. There's a good one. One more of those. Nice shot. Just yeah. right on time with that. I will say that's that one thing that, that Brent, I don't know if it go this far into thinking of it, but it going into the uh, split bowl double-double, he's got to feel pretty good about his 20. His 20 has been great. And then the one number he's pounding is trip 20. And I guess if you're going in 01 down a set, the best number to be hot on would be the 60. Yep. So. So it's not gonna be all about getting in first. That's that's always the main thing in the double in, double out. Get in, then start gouging. Start lighting yep. them points up. Yeah, because the outs don't really change too much. Like you said, the in the in definitely switches it. We've been seeing a lot of the one five twos and stuff lately, though. I feel like the, the players have been a little better on their ends the last couple matches. But that that can fly from night to night, you figure. Oh, for sure. And I guess the good thing is set play after this game here. If uh, if Brent doesn't win this game, you're back down only down one nothing. <laughs> Going in set two. Yep. Brent's looking good to hold on to this though. I feel like he's gonna feel like he's gonna get this game here. The 61 point lead. Gonna work on the 16s or point. He's going to point. No, now he's switching. Back to point. Good pick, good third dart. So no more pointing here, not without starting a new number anyways. So you figure he'll close that 16, right? Well, well he should now after missing. So some way Kev's kind of wiggled his way back in with a nine mark here, and all of a sudden it's pretty much evened up. Right. So if you're Brent, you could breathe a little easy now. Yeah. I think that uh, that could that definitely could have made it tight though. Definitely wants to shut these down. Yeah, you missed Ooh, that. You missed this. You miss. You're gonna lose this game. Okay, he does find a trouble so. He's going to stay on it, probably. What's going on? Missing a tip? Yeah, I think his tip must have. Was it in the board, maybe? Came out, uh, like, I unscrewed in the board? I, know, I didn't see it. I mean, I guess it didn't. <laughs> Not sure.
Paul Otto says expect this kind of fire the rest of the series, and uh, I think everybody kind of does as far as these last few matches been uh, been pretty nasty and uh, seems to be continuing. So that's what we're talking about. And now Kev is going to get to go first to every single game now. Yeah. As long as, you know, Brent's able to win on this, his comeback here. It's going to be tough to win out of the two-hole for four more straight. I guess at this point, if you're Brent, just one at a time and see how many you can peg. Yep. If you're lucky enough to get it all the way back to Tide, which would be insane to even imagine at this uh -oh. point. Uh oh look at this he's a he's a clip it clip it of his own from the two hole nice nine mark to open uh oh put some pressure on kev did we oh, potentially nice underestimate it was this maybe a rope a dope right <laughs> <laughs> There's no way like the was he trying for the yeah. biggest comeback in, uh, from eight what was it, eight three eight three or eight four the old Ali, I'm going to just lean back on the ropes and take everything he's got, and I'm going to oh, start, start swinging in game 13. I don't know. It doesn't look like uh, Ali's wore out just yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's nine, mark, right? nine marking at 18 still here. So... Seven point six seven. That's uh, that's not too shabby to start off in the first three rounds. Yeah. Twenty two lights, basically. Oh my. Ooh. A measly six point oh right be right behind him. Yeah. This guy's He's gonna just, have to pick up his game. These guys throwing throwing pretty well here in game thirteen. Tyler Little, what's up, man? Thanks for the light. Mark. Uh oh, that's a bad timing there. Let's see what happens. Cat says there's those 18s for sure. We've seen them all set long here at this point. It's Switch to the nine. Nope, he's going to go back up now. Oh, nice five mark. 77 points. That means he needs five 19s now. Just to grab that point lead back. Gonna have to have a triple. Does not find it. Kev's gonna be looking to close that number down, I'm guessing. If he doesn't go trip 18 first, which he had did, I gotta still close that 19, yeah. And you almost, you just kinda almost can't blame when you feel like 80% of those first dart triples that way are going in. Every time it seems yeah. like, yeah. You know, high 80% it feels yeah. like. You know, you come back down fat, fat, close it up, and, and pretty much feel like that shot was. At this point, it might almost feel easy for him. And Brent continuing to grind here. Is the 17 has been a number he's... Yeah, another seven mark out of Brent. His back's against the wall, and he's bringing everything he's got. He's in good enough position. He definitely could win this leg. Oh, he's, he's yeah, gonna, he's definitely not out of it. Yeah, he's definitely going to... It's going to take a five... Five plus average the rest of the game. Five or five and a half average the rest of the game to win it. He's gonna need either like. Kev to miss that eighteen, or he's gonna need to take a stab at it, like a trip here, a four mark and a look, or a six mark and a look at that eighteen. He's got the lead. Does he take a stab? I wouldn't. Nice shot. Yeah, smart. But you know that, and this guy's gonna come throw the two trip eighteen. So right. I guess you gotta kind of hope that maybe you could catch him, or if he does, only hit oh, five here total. Blocked up. Five would be the lead, but not by a Three bunch. Three does not get him the point lead. I would not be surprised if he goes directly at those 18. Should. See, you know, when he knows should. only two, he should. Yes. You hate to settle and have to, yeah. Fat, Especially fat knowing work. how much he's been beating him up. Don't want to miss this dart. That freebie, nice that shot. freebie means so much. That's such a good dart. So many people miss that free dart right there. That single, single to close, trip two, and it's almost a... You just hate to waste a freebie. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to stay in there. So still in position where it's scary if you screw up. You got a 41-point lead, but you might go right back at points here. Your opponent's nipping right at your tails every time you shoot. Nope. Good nice. first start. Nice Huge start. first start. 
Nice second dart. Excellent heart. second so, dart. Nine and at What a third nine. dart. So what a shot from Brent. Definitely saying, all right, uh, eight to four is not going to be the final yeah. of this game. Or man, and this is this is huge darts from him and composure, getting ready for the next set and 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 not giving up on this one. No, so. and it builds his confidence. You know, he's shooting a six zero. Rocky said, "I think just for Kev, that's five nine marks on the eighteens in this set. I would, I believe it. Yeah, that sounds about right." Yeah, Brian gets his fifth. So yeah, back to within three. Sometimes we can do those too because it'll uh, when they're higher. So excellent fight from Brian. Got to give it up to him because I tell you what, we can all sit here and watch and see that Kev's been pretty close to unplayable for a lot of players, and uh, Brent's managed in here with five wins and uh, still with the puncher's chance to. To get Ben in a lot of those set games, he just uh, yeah. kept just been a little too overwhelming at times. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's held, held tough because uh, there was a few times I, I saw it where it's like it's hard it's hard to believe he hasn't just kind of been like, let's just play 0-1. <laughs> this ain't even fun. <laughs> Nineteen. Oh, and he gets it. Nice shot. Big seven mark. Kev sending a message definitely that like he's ready for this set to be over with. He's ready for 01. Yep. Let's see. Uh, I don't think Brent's quite ready for 01, but. Good third dart there. Cat says such a great match from both guys so far. I got to agree. 17. Oh, good look. Good opening set. For me, I'm, I'm kind of. Like an 01 favor person, I, I like I prefer to watch the 01, but this is uh this cricket set's been excellent to say the least. So I don't really mind cricket. I just think 01's a little more exciting sometimes. But I kind of feel foolish saying that right now while watching this set. Yeah, you know? well, a lot of times 01's a little closer just because it's you know you're just subtracting scores. Yeah, so. there's less. It's so the drama can be you know yeah even a little more intense. Sometimes you get one guy jumping out in big leads here, and it kind of takes away the fun of the rest of that leg. You know, it's kind of one-sided. And even when they're shooting close in, in, you know, average, it seems like it's so far apart. Like, they'll be shooting almost the same thing, but one player's up by three numbers and points because it's just – Right. It's it's wild how it works, like the control of game in, in cricket. Oh, that's the commanding uh, lead right there. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the set it. is what that, that is. is. That. And what a great way to kind of cap the set after uh, right. a couple big wins from Brent, and it looks like Kev's going to go out with kind of the way he played the whole set. You yeah, know, the middle five or higher here with the, with the hat trick. John Stuba says, "Watching with Maggie. What's up out? What's up out there, fellas? At the nail." Steve says, "This is just sick." Yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely living up to the height. We knew uh, we knew this was going to be a good one. Happy to have both both these guys back at the club. It's been a minute to, since we've seen neither of them in action, so they have traveled and done some stuff. I know Kev got out the ghost on the coast. Brent was over in the Ohio Bulls shooter. And feel like they may have even went uh, something else in there. Maybe the Killian. So they've been playing, obviously. Mm -hmm. right there, nine, that is five. the first set. So we'll reset that scoreboard. We'll give the players a few minutes to break here. Most likely they will. Like I said, if I was Kev, I probably wouldn't because I, I'd roll with that fire right out the door. Oh, G already got me on the scoreboard. I'm over here dicking around with the mouse, and he's uh, <laughs> doing it uh, like we're supposed to off the stream deck. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. I'm interested in seeing how long of a break Brent wants to take here. Little... Yeah, I, I, it almost feels like they're not going to at this point. I feel like the way they're talking there, are they, are they thinking right. about, like, yeah, screw it. And right now, Kevin's the one that looks like he's ready to take a little bit of a break. <laughs> Probably feeling pretty good after that set. For sure, yeah. Playing great. It's rough to jump right back in, and you did this series. It was switching game a big yeah. deal at all for you, or, or did you did you feel... No, I mean, you're ready to play, right? So it, I'm 
Yeah, I, I'm a player that just wants to keep playing and playing and playing. So the longer the break is just, I don't know. I, I, I don't need a break. I don't, I'm not smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'd feel the same way. I'd well, Let's get right back to it. I don't mind, yeah. like, if everyone wants to piss and grab a beer or whatever and, you know, take two and a half minutes. But if I'm struggling or something, maybe I want to, you know, re- just take a minute and, you know, blow some steam off and before I come back. At, let's but. see if they're coming up. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And uh, we, we've seen all different all different lengths of breaks, to tell you the truth. Some people that pretty much haven't. And it, sometimes the second to third set, they usually won't. But then uh, some that are gone, like, for 15 minutes, you're like, hey, did they, really? they know there's a second set, right? <laughs> but these guys should be right back. We'll take a quick five here. You guys go ahead and uh, you want to hang out or see what we got here. We'll be right back. Okay, looks like uh, they're back in action here. Is uh, I think that's Brent's cork, and here comes Kev with his. Looks and like Kev got him by one, I believe. Kev will be starting. This is set number two, double double, five hundred one split bowl, and uh, Kev leaves one nothing as he won the cricket opener. So, in case you just jumped in here, for everybody who hung out during the break, we appreciate you. Here we go. Double in, double out, 501. Let the fun begin. Saw an excellent, quite a bit of a banger of a cricket set, so we'll see if they can match that intensity for the 01 here. Kev gets in on the first dart, which is always important. Get Let's in. see, is Brent, is Brent going double 20? No. No, he's a double 16 guy as well. Are we looking for the 152 here? And we did talk Good about how he, was, how he was hot on... Uh, he was hot on his trip 20. Oh, 
Kev oh, is nice just shot. firing away right now. One hour and eighty. I, I would uh I don't want to jinx everyone, but I should say we should get our guesses in too. Yeah. So th we know the number's not going to be zero. Yeah, and that was the as fast as we had one. That was the first non uh, opening because you, you can't hit one in the first round, obviously with the doubles. So yeah, I don't even have you ever had one in the first leg yet. Even it seems like a lot of times it's after the first leg. It really does. Yeah, I would say that uh, we'll say Kev was in the, a part of the high school, the highest one with uh, him and him and Ben. But it was on it. On it. I think it was Benny who had more that night. Kev did win the match, but Benny 135 was... by uh, by Brent there to keep in this because Kevin's not in and out right now. Oh, he's pounding his twenties right now. Sixty. Fifty-seven. I like that though for eighty-six. You need a big triple either way. It doesn't really yeah. matter. At least eighty-six. You should at least get a shot at the double bowl. So. Especially the way he's hitting the 18s. First start, you finger trip 18, double 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little, Maybe pop, he was pop. even thinking that, too. That's the... Maybe he just realized that. Oh, shit, it's off the 18. Yeah, right. Hey, Brent's not on and out. He does not have to go that route. And he's not going to. Um, Kevin? What? Is he screwing around? <laughs> is, is he messing is he with us? Like, is he really going to go Brent Math on me tonight? I, he's I, like, I don't expect me... him to do that with one person tonight, not both. He said, I'm just trying to tie Scotty and G up there in right. the booth. <laughs> Please don't do this to me all night, Bob. A couple old guys that think they know their math. <laughs> Let's see what they do with this. He's going to give me an aneurysm. <laughs> Especially from him, like you totally expect the 54 uh, 32. Yes, he's I been mean, drilling. Yeah, yeah, he's been drilling the 18s all day. It's the shot. Katie realizing what happened to us. This is hilarious. <laughs> well, Brent's going to get well, a look yeah. here at 108. So he, see if he can't take this out. <clears throat> So he's checking the out chart he, over there? He, I know he isn't. He, well, he's a couple of ways to do this. I mean, you can go 60. Yeah, I, feel yeah, like, I like 60. Yeah. You can also go 76 to leave 32. Yeah, that's right? true. So yeah. 419 to leave you 32. But a, a tri he's drilling the 20s, so no reason not to hit a trip 20. Yeah. You leave 48, then you go 16-8 wire, be safe, and, and it leaves you an out. Single 20 is still safe, too, so it's like it, yeah. you really don't have to cross the triple. You like to. Yep, now you just stay there. 60 for Don't overthink 20, it. 28. Yeah. Now trip 19. Set up double eight. All right, Kev, this might be your last chance. You better take it out. This should be the last chance. It should take it out for a start, I think. Madhouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice find. All right, so. Kev today, they one. kind of smoked the triple early there in the. The board look crooked? No, it looks all right. Maybe he was stretching. Josh confused by the math, I think. Yep. Don't know what will happen there, but eventually he got the W. Maybe he saw Brent had an out chart out and he was messing with him, <laughs> you know. Maybe he I needs to that. look at the out chart. I'm not sure. <laughs> Could you have been thinking 88 for some reason? I'm guessing. That's what it's got to be, right? I, I was trying to figure I, out why. And it's either thinking 88 or he's screwing with them. It's one or the I other. Know, right? I think he just went. I think he went full Jose De Sosa on us there and just had a math. That Jaeger shot. <laughs> that Jaeger shot. shot that's that's what it was. He's not much of a drinker, so every once in a while. But he actually went right towards the double 19. It wasn't even like it stunned him. You know, he was like, <laughs> right? Know? Yeah, I was like, okay. Okay. 48-38 sounds legit. But you get the W nonetheless, so what do you do? Nice 137 there. Good switch. Definitely a nice 137. Good first start from Brent there. 
Yeah, you should fill this Stacking up. Stacking them, it feels like all three. Oh, it. a little over the top. Nice shot, though. Good 140. Yeah, back in the ball game, you kind of, if you're him, you don't want to see a 140 here. But other than that, you're not in horrible shape. And he sees a 140. Of course, he so finds the 140. He's going to have to answer with pretty much the same thing just to keep pace here. You're going to need a couple big triples there. So Kev doesn't really have to go trip 18 for a start here. No, but he's got six starts at 128. You could if you were pressed for it. It kind of leaves a little backup opportunity. If you do hit the single, you still got 110. Oh, good setup. Probably going to need to hit all three here to put any type of pressure on, I think. Kendra says, root of all ego, <laughs> evil and good times. Jaeger. Jaeger's definitely the house wine around here. <laughs> oh, because the, uh, he must be talking about Brent's comment. Retire. He's thinking retirement. Good shot. Katie, appreciating the house wine comment. <laughs> Definitely uh, go through some bottles down here. So what we got two zero here, Brent. Yep, two nothing. Brent still going first. He gets in first start. I think we've seen all first start ends from him so far. Good one twelve there. It's really time to get up and take a leg here. If you're Brent, you're going first. You came in one twelve, and you lost the opening set. So. All signs point to uh, a W here. Turns it uh, right where you need it to be, 2-1. to one. You got an 80-point lead with the darts, so uh, you need to turn this into a 2-1. to 2-1 to one set and get yourself back in it. Looks like that's just what he's doing here. Gets a little unlucky with the triple one, but nice finds, 123. Uh, finds 120 with the other two darts, so nothing wrong with that. Kev had a what a 180 in a second turn first game, and we haven't seen a, seen another one yet. So a couple close ones. Yep, I feel like we we may see a may see another 180 in this game here. If it's going to be from Brandon, it pretty much has to be right now. Let's see if he can stack that, start that low uh, low center trip 20, put two right on top of it. Nope, just above. Does get a hundred though. On a bogey number though, one six six. So this is Brent's opportunity to cut this number down, get at least cut it in half here get himself set up yeah this is he's got to be feeling pretty good here but you definitely don't want to i think he's kind of seen tonight if you let off the throttle a little bit kev's not hey, gonna just go away nice shot brent he even did the right who's this mathematician right. down here when did he start becoming a calculator he's smiling walking back towards that wall there. Yeah, we oh, can't yeah, he's see him but he's all straight to the phone there. say hey did you guys see that <laughs> i did i did it right <laughs> Even Kev, even Kev was probably thinking, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Did he just throw a 1-3-4 to leave 3-2? <laughs> so let's see if he go ahead and finishes this up with the first dart, the same way he's been coming in the games. Will he go out the same, one dart at it? Calculate he does. Work. Thank you for everyone. 
Brent says Brent. <laughs> Appreciate you out there, Brent. We'd like to see the mathematics go like that. As he gets himself on the board. Speaking of mathematics, that's going to add one to your score and pull you within one. So two to one now. Chip off the old paint block there, as they we were saying the other day. <laughs> I swear it must have hit seemed like every time. In and out, everybody uses only the 16 for this game. Still in on his first start. I, I want to believe he has not, not got in on his first start. Yeah, yet. it feels like it's been every first start for yeah. him. That's the first time it wasn't 32. but Right. Still ends up with a 89, so good shot. Anyone will tell you they'll be fine. They'll be just fine with whatever double counts on your first dart. Oh, well, here's our second one of the night. Nice shot. One so, Kev with a pair of buck 80s now. Breathing a little easier back there. Reading along in the comments, as you can see. Or at least it looked as he was, kind of. I think that's his phone in front of his beer over there. Good third dart trip 19 there. Keep keep him uh, getting low. See what's 140 is no good here, right? Uh, no, 172. And I think more you didn't see a ton of that in this series where guys in, in spots like those sometimes this late in the series you could almost think it would matter where it does. It's important to know if you need to go 19 on your third dart. Nice one, three, nine. Or your first start, I guess, really. One forty you could here though. To leave him one twelve, yeah, but he needs a minimum of a ton basically. And some triples. Still a triple good oh, he... So six starts for Kev to go yep. up three to one here. Six for Kev from sixty six. Looking at trip ten maybe here. Nope, he went to 14 route. All right. Double six. Oh, nice shot. So a good game from Kev. 15 dart out as he'll uh, take a 3-1 to one lead, and Brent will start us up. Looking for his second win of the set. He does get in. He yep. finally doesn't get in the first one, but he does manage to get in on the third. I'll tell you what, I'm sure he's glad that we got in there, too, because sometimes that's how it goes. You don't miss your first start forever, and then you miss all three. Like, how does that just happen? So Brent could find his first buck 80. I would assume he would think this would be a pretty good spot for it. Yeah, he's going to need some, some big scoring right here. Start finding some big triples. Ninety-five. Yeah, finds one on the third dart. Okay, so actually not in too bad a shape. They could have no, been much worse. Yeah. Could have been much worse. That was a good dart that just didn't get in. So 43 only, that's going to hurt. It feels like that's going to hurt yeah, anyways. You expect, yeah, Kevin just had no triple round. You expect him to find one here at least. Ronnie Mack checking in. My guy says, what's up, fellas? How are we, Ronnie? The 18, surprise, surprise. 94, just under 100, and a good switch in time as Kev hit it five in a row in the single 20 and switches targets and finds a triple. So 171 to leave a 160 here. Eighty-five. Nineteen shot. Eighteen nice. shot. Good switch. So Kev nice. Motor in here with some big scores. Nice one, three, four there. 
I mean, I absolutely pressure this shot for Brandon. If you give Kev six from 142, he's, he's gone. 140 at least here. He's got a chance for yeah. the 180. That'll get Look to the 66. Him. Nice Look at shot. Him. Catches the 180 when he wow. needs it the most. Excellent shot by the meatball. Nice of that. Good shot from meatball. Uh oh. 60-42. Oh, he went to 42 tops route. Yep. Well, he j I figured he might because he just hammered that 42 on the uh, 42-24. What was that, 66? Good setup. It's the 110, leaves 32, so all the pressure on Meatball now. This He's got to take yeah, this out. This is a hard shot after as good as you're playing. Is he going to do? As good as he He went trip 18 round. All right. So he's got a dart. One dart. That's all it took him in the first seven games to get in. Can he first four games to get in? Oh. Does not find it. Going to give Kevin an opportunity here to take it. Yeah, it feels. Uh, and he gets it on the first dart. He goes up four to one. That hurts, but it's a, it, it is tough when you feel like you're only getting one dart at a double. All of a sudden, it, it shrinks up, and sometimes they're a little harder to throw. For sure. Easier said than done, and Kev's keeping all the heat on him. So, as good as Brent played, he only got one dart at a double. And he, he's mad at himself right now because he wish he'd hit that on his last dart. But he gets back in. He's off and running. That is like the double-edged sword, isn't it? you got to double sure. in on the number you just missed yep. the and very next it. dart. It's yeah. like, oh, great, thanks. You're almost mad that you hit <laughs> yeah, it. I know. <laughs> Pretty much a tie game. He does he gets a couple po extra points, but I think Brent's going to pile in some trips here. I I think he's going to start heating up. Yeah, he did last set right around this time. Um, I, I feel like you don't want to fall too too far behind. I, and, oh. You know, not to be too obvious, but the way he's hitting the 20s, it, if he can just start landing a few more first starts, he could really just rally off a couple games in a row. But it doesn't seem like Kev's waiting around for him to get started. You know, he's going to motor right towards that finish line, rightfully so. Brent's just got to get that first dart working. Good turn, 40. Or get those second and third just yeah, like right. that every as time. That's uh, fall, however you do what, it, big yeah. fella. That was the, that's the shots he needs. That was his stroke right there. The pace was good. So 180 here leaves the big fish. And he knows it, too. I think that's why I backed off. Oh. That's 140, though. Good shot. And again, uh, the timing of it to just really put put some heat on, on Brent in the one hole at 242, only leaving him six starts from 242. Another 140. Another great round. Yep. So Brent's going to get first look this this round. Almost spot on with the averages, right around a half a point or so separating, maybe just about a point, actually. Leaves so 160. Bullseye from 102? What 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 do you like here? Um no, I'm gonna stay on the top. So I'm gonna go to twenty. I mean, uh because at least eighty two. So you can go trip fourteen, double tap, or yeah. stay on it if you wanted to. He's uh, going I switch. Because he's blocked. So, I'm going to trip 14 for double tops here. Is he thinking bull? Uh, who knows? It <laughs> looks like he's looking at the bullseye. It does. Oh, oh, nice shot. He was looking trip 14. He is the man. Oh, and he great hits shot. Great he doesn't shot, stick, so. but he hits it. Brent showed us. So, that's, what, that's how you do 102. Nice 20, shot. 20, 42, 4, 80. Great 40. It's almost like he heard me. Has he got an earpiece in? Wow, that was, that was sick, wasn't it? <laughs> nice shot. Well, I had it went underneath the – well, you can't move it, the board that way. <laughs> it is uh, it is tough to get under the board for anyone who hasn't been out right. and seen. Like, the, the boards are – Not a lot of – ooh, there you go. Okay, so coming in close. <laughs> Maintenance team is in the house. <laughs> so, uh, uh, with – yeah, all, all jokes aside, though, what a shot. What a time for that yeah, shot, that was too. Huge, Down uh, 4 to 1, 102. And what was Kev sitting on? Something uh, – 
no, something no, he was a, he, no he was a big he was a big number he didn't have an out yet he was he had the first look at a 102 Kev wasn't at an, at an out okay but it was I, still a nice three dart out yeah it was definitely a big third dart especially yep, after the, plus out, yep. not hitting the double on his lat the third dart the game before where he, where he felt like he probably should have won that game so he gets in but gets a trip one in a second there's last dart there Ryan Young out there. Thanks for the light. 160, everybody says. Kev was at 160. Oh, yeah, that's right. You set up to 160. <laughs> wow. yeah, 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 <laughs> They're yeah, screaming yeah, at you, yeah. bub. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't I, remember either. <laughs> I was over here wrecking my brain thinking, I knew he was at an out. I was going to say 142 for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so appreciate y'all. So you guys are listening, okay? Kev, Kev, uh, <laughs> Kev does have a 160 out in the series too. I do. I would want to say, nice. yeah. Brent's still hitting them 140s, so he's staying tough. I think you, Brent you just want to look for, you know, reel a couple off in a row, just a little bit longer of a, a patch than he had in the in the cricket. He had a shorter a shorter patch. You can have a five, six, seven game patch where you win six of them, six out of seven or so, and. You Is get, he one back to back games legs tonight? Did he get one? That's a good question. Maybe once. I maybe think towards the two, end of cricket. The, the last two crickets, eight, I think. Three, eight, four. Yeah. Yeah. I do believe. But oh one he definitely oh, hasn't because four, eight, five, whatever it was, something like that. Yeah. I think the last two in, in uh cricket. Look <laughs> day day one sixty G. <laughs> I was just seeing if you guys were paying attention. We, of course, we, uh, we knew. I mean, we're sitting right yeah. here. How could we not know? We have it all wrote down. We have replay. <laughs> we could share this, yeah. all kinds of different angles they can see. Yeah, we got the. Ronnie's ready to come replace us in the booth. We forget one thing. <laughs> He's already on his way. <laughs> we have been trying to get Ron out to come do the call with us. He's did, he did a couple in the the freer days, but. You have, to, you have to get in the booth here at the at the club, so we'd like to make that happen. Oh, well, 180, these 162, that's uh, not an out. Most likely, what, it, six starts from 181, though? Well, maybe not now. It's, uh, yeah, it's still, six, it's still six starts from 181. Yeah, from yeah. 181, it's, yeah. Good first start. Where's well, he going I here? I like bullseye here. Yeah, I do too. Um, but I, nothing wrong with that. There, he's going to get two no, darts, yeah, hit, yeah, two yeah, darts sure. hit a double. So, yep. I see Andrew out there. How we doing, Andrew? Thanks for the like and staying up late watching. Uh, most people probably a work night about eleven o'clock here, but we still got about sixty viewers with us here at the hour and forty five minute mark. So, appreciate y'all and. Hope you're enjoying it. We've been live pretty much all day here at the club. Oh, Kevin getting an opportunity here. I'm assuming he's going to go. Yeah. He's, he needs a big trip either way, so 20 or 19 either way. This is like going the, down, so he gets the trip 18 for tops. The rip your heart out moment. If he hits this, you're just crushed if you're, if you're cat or I mean if you're Brent. Cause. He stays on and gets the double. The double's 18 look if Brent misses, so Brent's going to have to have this double eight here. Yeah, should be it, though. It should be easy Yeah, to I think he's right? going to get it. Yep, yeah. nice shot. First dart. If he takes that 113, though, you're just bra. I mean, that, that it's would. A, yeah, it's crushing. Yeah. It changes the game, puts it up 5-2 instead of 4-3. So, Brent right back in it. it was looking like a, Kevin was going to run away with the entire night here for a minute, but uh, Brent's got other plans. Says, hang on, hang on. I am not done yet. Yeah, and he's going to have to continue to be real good in the first rounds and and and, and the finishing for sure. Yeah, just keep getting in in your first first dart or, or second dart. The scoring is good be, enough. Yep, it's definitely the, be fine. It's definitely going to be finishing. And uh, wow, that looked in. Oh man, unlucky. That's his first round of not getting in on the first three darts. So you almost feel like that doesn't necessarily lose the game, but 140 from Kev here and. Okay, it's manageable. Let's get, need a big big in. You're going to have to get the double on the first shot here. First, and then you need at least one big triple. 
That's the pace he wants. That's the shot he was throwing the yeah, first few games. One twelve is okay here. You're uh, okay. Take the seventy two or down by. Uh, oh, that's 80? a five. I thought he hit a single. One hundred twenty. Like that yeah, math. He's in trouble now. Like that math out there. <laughs> is that extra strength gummy math I'm dropping? <laughs> <laughs> So here we go. Actually, 140 away from uh, being right back in this ball game. That could pretty much tie it up. Yeah, it was a bad time for that. Another 137. That was Kev. a good shot from Kev. Good switch there. He'll take it for sure. In a tough spot to get back and actually seal this leg, but Still anytime you're throwing a ton yeah. against the throw, yeah, anytime you're a uh, trip eighteen for double sixteen. Look at, look this. at this! Look at look this! At this. Get Go in ahead and there! Click that one. That is a get shot there. there. That is a shot there. <laughs> nice one four six. That's how it's done. Cat ass is Brian hitting that Jaeger too. <laughs> We may or may not have Jaeger in the booth. Nobody. No cameras in here. We're in the same spot. There are cameras, but we control them. So what a shot, though, huh? 146. Yeah, that was beautiful. Nice round. That was another out we'd seen just earlier in the series. I think uh, Topsky took that out. I remember the back to back. He took a 164 and a 146 in back to back games. He almost figured once he hit that trip 20, he knew he was going to drill that trip 18. Yeah. So all I'm out taking it to get the double 16. It's, I mean, you couldn't have more of an around the world shot, if you will. Like, a, you're all over the board. Right. Yeah. It's, it's We're good switching for sure. 114 to 32 is, is kind of direct for, for me. That's how I like the 146. But, I mean, he just made that look like he could do it eight times, ten times in a row. Josh Sloan took out the 146, too. Nice. So that's three times that's been out in the series that, that we know of. It's obviously an easy out. Yeah, it's <laughs> probably the easiest out there is. <laughs> bigger bigger triples here, maybe that double sixteens enlarged. <laughs> Gonna get another one? He does get another one. So we got the fourth one eighty. I wanna say is it's uh Seen a few 180s the last couple matches. We've had good scoring, but not a bunch of 180s, really. Maybe about this many, about four. Single 16. Oh, he wants to 20 for 36. Yeah, okay. yeah. A little risky it with that. It is trip, risky because, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did make sure to go high. So. He sure did. He sure did. That was a good shot. So double 18 to pull back within one. Oh, outside on all three. This is right where this could, Kev could break another heartbreaker here. Yeah, he needs just one trip 20. You don't even have to hit a triple on your first dart. No, no, he does. Stay on it for double five. Oh, what? was that 54 for double eight but no that's not the run you do 20 would have left at least a shot at the double you got, yeah, yeah you got to you got your opponents on a, a single dart out yeah no reason maybe to because he's been so automatic on that 18 i think he just had a jose de sosa moment i don't think he's even thinking about it wow unbelievably he got away he's with it though. Get, it's hard to believe yeah brent on the black again three straight times and he does. He gets away with it and gets the W. Brent handed him that one. Yeah, those are the ones that hurt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you're talking it was 5-4, and, and now instead it's 6-3. So I think Brent even said, I think I just hurt myself there or something, it sounded like. Josh, when, when you took out that 146, you went trip 19, trip 19, double 16? 
I don't remember if he did it that way. I see Paulie said he does it that way. I was just mm -hmm. curious since we've seen it a few times different ways. Boy, that one really's got to hurt for Brent. Yeah, that's. Uh, let's see how he uh, bounces back after that. How much of that is going to affect him? I guess he already didn't get in his first redart, so we see how that did affect him. But uh, he needs to get it in. Definitely ASAP. Could, uh, oh, Josh did it the same way. He he moved, did the around the world shot mm -hmm. too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Give me a ball, Romeo. <laughs> the ten cup moment. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to get off of that, man. That's part of being a player. Is sometimes it sometimes it hurts because he. I know he's feeling it. Oh, big triple by Kev puts a little bit of pressure on him now. Because if he just had a single, I mean, it just a regular one twelve yeah. in or something, and it's basically catch that game. big one five two, man. Even yeah, if right, you catch yeah, that right one five two, tie it up, almost. Or we could have, exactly. So, basically, a 100 point game. 99 with the. With the gets the darts. Kevin, great shot here. Great position to go up 7 3. And uh, can't find a big trip. Slow them, stun them both, maybe a little bit here. It's that big, uh, big 140 to kickstart your game back right into gear and. Get back on your horse is what you got to do if you're Brenton here. You're down 6-3. You got nothing to give, no extras. Hey, Day Day said, yeah, Josh went 20-18. And Sloan points out that you're shooting 20 the whole night, so that's why he likes to start there. So. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I it, does yeah. it does I, make I, a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. I like the 1919 because it's an easy switch to over the double 16, but I stay up to the 20 and – going around the world there was a good speaking of mathematics so kev with a nice 131 to leave a 160 and if he hits this this would just really put oh nice double. shanghai's it to leave 40 Yeah, Kev's in a great position to put a stranglehold on this. Says Brent can't even leave himself an out there, even with the big triple in the third dart. Yeah, and probably a, a bit of a hangover from the over six on the double and eighteen. It you it. know, it's uh, it definitely it can wear on you a bit. Just frustrated with yourself because you know you could probably go up there and hit it six times in a row right after you do that. Yeah, but that's the game for you. Sometimes it's sometimes Time to dig it's deep that tough. Brent. Yeah. You, Time. We've seen it. I mean, seven three is not. It's not. Oh yeah, this is all one. Any insurmountable you, lead, yeah, but it's sure. definitely the way that Kev's playing and the way that the breaks have been going. It feels like you're really gonna have to have a really good next fifteen minutes to have a chance to play a third set. Yeah, that's a big score. First start 120s for Cab being so close to the finish line. Got to feel so good right now. Yeah, for sure. Like a, a small little bite of victory. <laughs> you know you're getting close, and every time you hit one of those, you're a little closer. So I figure he, he probably knows exactly what he needs to do to finish his plan for the evening. Done. Brent gonna need a big round here. He 140, 160, one better. Cause the ton doesn't do you any good. So 99 would be the shot, the minimum he'd want here. Let's see if he's aware. Trip 20 here would demand a switch. 
No, nope, no, you got to go down. He is. He looked. Look at this guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm impressed. On. This is that. He's is, picking up his mask That's the quickly. most impressive thing I've seen tonight. I love that, that he did that. Yeah. That's smart because it's it matters so much at the scoreboard, 7-3. Especially if he does oh, he something special. Oh, he like, Gets the buck. 80. I don't like, know. takes it out. Go to, the, um, go to switch to his number and leave the double 16 or stay on it just for the the 180 or not. He got the 180. That was an amazing shot from Kev. As impressive as it was, Brent doing the right math to keep himself alive, but the, the 180 behind almost canceled it out because... Yeah, right. Now 164 versus and 26. And he gets the double 13 and, yeah. for his dart. So 206 with four darts. He's in this position where he's got a lot of games. In this stretch. With. Yep. It's not looking good for Brent. Kevin is uh, playing good and, and got control of this for sure. Starting to look like the nets are about to get cut down as he's <laughs> heading to the final <laughs> four, I'd <Right>. say. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he'd take the nine. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he waits till this get to the 12. He's, he's, he's comfortable now. He's got yeah, a nice sizable no, lead. Why not take a smart look? Smart play. Yeah, it's yeah. Truly, uh, definitely a smart play. I mean, he did and just it, get in his last yeah. previous round and the yeah. double 20. But. Yeah, and you have to think it just shows the level of awareness down there, too. Like, he's not only focused on the board, but he knows, like, hey, I might as well take a stab. Yeah. Maybe if I get in with the 160 here. All right, so I'll be looking to finish this off now. See. Let's see if we can get to six or seven 180s here. I was hoping we saw seven. There I might saw be six here. There it that's is. Six. That's six. Oh. I, I think I see now a couple people even said seven, and seven's been rough to get to lately. We've had a lot of twos, threes, and fours, even yeah. with power scoring. I, I just feel like well, we're not getting the legs possibly out of this one the way this is going. This will only be a twelve leg uh, set. So if we can get you know sixteen plus, yeah. you, then you're looking. You should be getting closer to those six, seven, eight, nine numbers. Yeah, that's true. The last, I think, the last one, what, Gary and uh, Gary and Paulie went to the tie break. I don't remember what their ton eighty count was. I think it was around five. But I think I want to say they played the seventeenth leg. And Brent gonna get one here. Paulie said that's oh. enough. I guess six. <laughs> <laughs> it, that one seventy here to leave tops. Oh no, he's okay. Well, he's uh, losing out. I know he wanted something better than that when he went to the line. One 60. more of those. Oh, unlucky. He did take a 103 already tonight. Wasn't that the out, or was it 101? Uh, thought it was 103. Nineteen start here? Nah, I don't. But because it leaves eighty three, I'm fine with the trip seventeen. But either way, you need a big trip. One oh two. Appreciate y'all. So so the number should be probably trip twenty here for double twelve. Yeah, it's got to be what he is here. He's been so perfect with his math today. Look at this. Look at this guy. Math Look at this. Notation. Come on. Come on. Let's get him a clip on that. That's highlight yeah, worthy. Good stuff right there. He's got a 102. So he's now got a 102 and a 103. That's impressive. That's a very nice shot. Yep. He could easily be giving up, you know, right now with the way the way that what he's faced tonight. He's uh no, nope, keeps battling. Yeah, just keeps grinding, grinding, grinding. If he can find a way to win another one, get him a little streak going. 
just gets hard when you have to kind of when they're go playing so good in the one hole you have to kind of hope they miss a double you know it, it that's always a bad spot to be in yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> i've been there we've all been there like, please <laughs> right, yeah, just stop <laughs> we get it One forty. Nice shot. That's how Rough Riders roll right there. That's how you got to do it out of two hole. You got to bang away and get some big scores. And if you're Brent, you could hope maybe a little bit that that Ooh, it doesn't one, three, look like seven. it, but you could hope that maybe he slows up as he gets a little closer to the finish line. But. That ship may have sailed as right. he, uh, <laughs> he is trying to get this over with. He is definitely not stumbling at the finish line. I just want to see some more darts. Uh -oh. <laughs> Circumstantially trying to draw up a situation. Yeah, lost the flight. Lost the flight. <laughs> right, <laughs> big help. He didn't even get off the line. He just looks. Like, he's like, where, where could it have went? It's where not even that big go? of an area. <laughs> what color is that flight? Well, it looked like it was red. Yeah, that's what I'm should saying. It should see. Yeah, it stick right out. Would it go under the trophy case or something? I think that was the direction it was heading, it's and two, that's where they're looking right now. <laughs> two game penalty. So can can Brent uh step up here and get to an out first? He's gonna need two trip twenties to do it. And he, he does, does it. it. Come Great. on. One forty. Gives him the opportunity. So Kev's gonna leave himself nice and snug probably, but if you're Brent, at least you got a shot. Fifty one? Yep. yep. Yep, so 94, the way he's hitting that trip 18, probably gets a dart at the double next round for the match. Unless you shut him down right here with the... Trip 20, trip 18, double top, or trip 15, double tops. That would be beautiful. There's the first one. Okay, he went trip 19, round for double 14. Look he's going to get a look. mathematician. He's going to get a look. Oh, good look. And that may he, shrink up that 94 he, on Kev a bit. Yeah, he may come back to get a look at that. Yeah. So, Kev's going to – his favorite 18. Trip 60, 20 for double 60 eight. 60 for double eight. Not going to get a look. So, he's coming, coming back for back. double seven. It's a little bit of an awkward double. Oh, he didn't even set it up for the one dart out. He's going to have to – he's only going to get two darts at most if he gets a chance to come back. So, you're Brent, you want this first dart. Great and shot, first, first dart. dart. So, good job by Brent to stay tough. Another win out of the two hole, so he's got to keep banging away and getting big, big rounds, and just keep plugging along, keep grinding, doing. What so he's eight, doing. eight to five, Kev on the hill with the start, darts in hand, doubles in on his second, no triples. So let's see if uh, Brent can get a big round, take here. an early advantage here in this game, and and uh, continue to try to to get to a three-game winning streak for the first time tonight as he's on back-to-back -back wins. In on the first dart. A little wild on the second, unfortunately. For only, what, the second time, right? This is the second two-game win streak? Uh, yeah, I think so. Looking to get to three. <laughs> Paulie says it was just 8-4. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> He was a little unlucky in that third dirt. Yeah, if you're Kev, you're still plenty knowing how good you've played and in, in the spot you're in. He's big one forty. Yeah, he's definitely not worried that he's gonna let this set get away, but definitely doesn't want to get if any you're closer. Brand, keep yourself close enough to have a shot. That's all you you know. Right. Yeah. Like you said, you definitely don't want to. You don't want it to continue to start to get seeping away. Nice shot. Way to plug away. 
after that first third five. As long as it's 125. Keeping them tight. Oh, needed a single 20 for the big fish. Catches a trip five. So needs at least 110 to get to an out. Well, big third dart. Yep. Keeps a minute. Only a 22 point game. Kev just set up nicely here and yep. leave it. You leave yourself a nice round double for the match. Uh, I was going to say a nice 135, but he went 19 first. All right, 132. That would be That's a good way to close it out. Wasn't what he was hoping for. So a big round here can uh, yeah. change this all around. Even 100. You're okay with the 100. Yeah, yeah, 97 sure. is a little get, gimme, but yeah, you, get you, it underneath. You, if you get 100, you feeling okay. There you go. Trip 17. Nice. Oh, even better. 19. Nice shot. So bull, does he start bull here? He should. That's the correct shot. Trip 19 for double bowl. Good setup. So two darts for a double for yeah, meatball so here, most likely. A lot of pressure on meatball to make maintain. Make it 8-6. Catches the double in the first dart. Uh, Got double better 10. Than the triple. Takes his time and drills it. Clutch. Got a ball game. So his first three-game winning streak of the night. Kev is uh, going to tighten up a little bit here. Speaking of what did the, did the Ram, who won, the Rams or the Bucks today? Uh, the you Bucks know? came back and pulled it off. Did they? I so, seen, yeah. so Brady's losing streak stopped at three? Yeah. Are you trying to compare Brady and Brent? No, no. <laughs> but it made me think of it because I, I, I was so – Blown away by the fact he's only had one in his career. You know what I mean? He's been playing for 20 years. And one three-game yeah. losing streak. And Rodgers is at five. Yeah, it's five insane to track. think. Three interceptions against the Lions. The guy usually gets that three or four was, in an entire season, you know? Yeah, that game was something else. I, I watched Red Zone today, but it was almost all Lions turnovers in the – I didn't see any of it when I was at work all day, but uh, I'm just having to catch some stats and some highlights. Our Red Zone did. It was It was something else. Iceman, what's up, my brother? Thanks for the like out there. Big third dart. Work's not done yet, Brent. Big you close, but Kev's on the hill, so can't let him get away here. He stays close. But six big darts from Kevin. This thing could be over. It's a ton. Means just Brent's got to hit a 140, 140 just got to kind of tie it up. Here. Yep, you, and you can. You've been throwing all night now. Oh, you yeah. feel like that trip 20 is big. Oh, unlucky. One time, one trip 20, 95 will work. 55 a little. point game. That, that's not going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. Especially, Especially if Kevin hits big here. Oh, 319 doesn't really even set up that nice. That's a good start. That's a great start. Oh, it's another 180. Why not? So is that they stretch it so we could uh, get the extra one here? Cause let's see if number eight back to back. I'm just a little over the top. <laughs> Josh points out three interceptions against the worst defense. That <laughs> is. Well, they did just fire their DB coach, so that must have changed everything, and that's the reason they uh, got all those interceptions today, I'm sure. And that's it right there. Kev there takes you the go. 59 the out. Pop, train pop. All aboard. He is uh, on to the Final Four. So what a match, and we appreciate you all checking us out yeah. this evening. Great shooting, Brent, fellas. good run in the series. Appreciate our boy Meatball. And, uh, yeah, he did good. Made it, a was, good uh, it was fun, and I'm uh, glad the fellas got in here. It was a little bit of a late one, and, and uh, we appreciate you guys who stayed up a little extra on a work night. But So our final four now is uh, yeah. State Farm versus Topsky and, uh, and Kevin uh, versus Paul Otto. And uh, our, our target goal is uh, next Friday and Saturday evening, so stay tuned for that. We'll, uh, we'll keep you guys updated, but – Everybody was uh it's gonna be a banger final four, so tune in and uh we'll keep you updated on when we those matches will be played. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great night. We're gonna gonna check out, so thanks for everything and uh we'll see you soon.